Welcome to Sis Trek. We have two special guest stars today. Uh, Persephone, my two-year-old, and Chloe, my puppy, along with uh, are your regular stars, M and TJ. Yes, we forgot to mention that last time. Yeah, how to how what a great way to start a channel. Hi, I'm not going to tell you who we are, but let's get into it. <laughs> exactly. Today we are at Rimrock. Oh gosh. We're at Rimrock Conservation Area at Palisades Park Trail Loop. It's about 2.9 miles. I thought you said it was 2 miles. 2.9. It had a 2 in it. Okay. <laughs> but we just got here, and uh, let's show you where it is. Is the uh, difficulty level of this one? This is easy. Easy. Yeah, it's mostly flat, widely walked. It specifically says it's a um, 2.9 mile heavily trafficked looped located near Spokane that features a great forest spot and is good for all skills. This trail offers a number of activity options. It is accessible year round. Dogs are also able to use this on leashes. All right. That dog, or is the dog walking you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a fire here. I'm not sure exactly when. I think it was a couple years ago when that other fire was. We had a really bad fire season a few years back, and it looks like it's still recovering from it. It's still beautiful. Nature always finds a way. It does. If nothing, it just shows the power of nature. Look at these big rocks here. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Ah, you guys look so cute. Wave, say hi. Yep, what do you, what that's do you think? Chloe. We're over a quarter of a mile and you're carrying your kid. <laughs> yeah, she's a up on shoulders kind of lady. <laughs> it's very peaceful out here for a well trafficked, I think what we've seen, three, we've seen yeah, people? three people. Yeah. Mostly runners. Yeah, joggers seem to be. The majority of the three. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, kind of the peacefulness of being out here. I guess we're here on a Monday, so it kind of helps. Yeah, Monday at 11.30 in the morning. Yeah. It's just very peaceful out here. You don't want to walk anymore. How many of you are familiar with this? <laughs> Come on, baby bear. Come on. It's okay. Oh, look at you, top girl. Awesome. No. Uh oh. Get it, get it. <laughs> Good girl. We're here again. 
can. Um, yes, I can. The baby decided that she wanted oh, nothing to do with walking. I uh, had a hard time on my shoulders, and the puppy just was being a jerk too. <laughs> so we took them home, uh, put her down for her nap. Dad's watching her. So now we're going to do it again. So today I went and bought a backpack with a hydration unit in it. It's a camelback. I uh, learned the hard way. Always make sure that it's uh, closed properly. <laughs> I went to go put it on. I leaned over to tie my shoe and there's just like, my back's all wet, my butt's all wet, the backpack's all wet. But it's pretty nifty. It uh, has this water bladder in here, gravity fed, and it comes through the tube. And then it just kind of suck on it. We, I wanted to get this for when we go on our overnight trek or trip. So we'll have water. I don't have to carry a big thing of water. And uh, I'll let you know how I like it uh, in the next couple hikes. I got it at Dick's Sporting Goods and it was $69.99. I don't like these straps, so I'm not going to use them today. Let's go. So my sister and I were out here enjoying a beautiful view. Oh, say hello everybody. Beautiful view. And uh, and if you love trees, this is definitely a great place to come. It is just wall to wall trees everywhere. Um, not really sure what kind these are. I guess we should probably start learning about different vegetation. Maybe? Some form of pine, they have needles. Yeah, I definitely guess some kind of pond. Well, it's an adventure. We'll learn and learn as, as we, we go, go and we'll inform you guys. Yeah, I like that idea. I wonder what that is. Yeah, I don't know. It is pretty though. I think I knew it was daisies over there. Yellow daisies? I was just talking to my uh, sister about this road that we're on. You see it behind us. It reminds me of a place I used to go with a friend named Lee uh, down in Oregon. Oh, actually, I actually think it's just over the border into um, California. This place called it was uh, a place called Squaw Lake, and. Uh, had very similar roads like this that you drove down. Of course, this one you can't drive down. It looks like it was paved at one point. Yeah, it does. Um, looks like uh, the rocks kind of beat down or beat through, I guess. I'm not sure. And then they decided just to gravel over what they had paved of it. What do you think? Yeah. It's a nice trail. I mean, you could stroll, you could bring your stroller, bike. Uh, it's just very friendly. Yeah. Yeah, bike I could see working really well out here. It's, um, for the most part, I think it's been pretty flat the whole time we've been on it so far. And I like to ride my bike, but I like to ride my back bike on flat stuff. On flat stuff, yeah. All right, so we were walking and I hear all these birds and I wonder when the cheeseburger birds are gonna come back. Cheeseburger birds? Cheeseburger birds, they go. <laughs> Sounds like they're saying cheeseburger. Uh, they're cheeseburger birds, they're real. There's some form of chickadee. 
A chickadee? Yeah. They go. It's a chickadee. Cheeseburger. Okay. That's what they say. If you eat, like, I even looked it up online. That's how I found out they were chickadees. I looked up the cheeseburger bird. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It was pretty funny. <laughs> okay. But it comes up as a, it's a chickadee. I've, I haven't heard any this year. And they're normally, you can hear them everywhere. Cheeseburger. <laughs> I'm not gonna forget that now, you know. Yeah, that. next time you'll hear it, you'll hear it. You'll be like, oh, did that bird just say cheeseburger? <laughs> oh, only in our videos will you get this kind of conversation. <laughs> Google it. Google it. It's kind of pretty how that tree either grew kind of twisted or when the fire happened, it like burned and cracked twisted. It did. Look at that bark. It's like got a nice twist to it as it goes all the way up. Candy cane striper. Yeah. I hope you all can see that really well. Can you like scoot in? first little hill it wasn't too bad wasn't a hill yeah it was just kind of a little up incline incline and uh, we came to a second bench so i'm kind of wondering what was the name of the first one patsy's, patsy's place patsy's yeah i'm kind of wondering if this one has a name too we uh seemed to be walking by a new housing development down there yeah i'll get some pictures of that in a minute for you guys no name on that one. No, there's no name on this one. I'm really surprised. Yeah, somebody tagged it, of course. Three times. I really wanted you to know. Yes. They're uneligible but handwriting. That's what I'm trying to talk about is all this down here. Kind of looks newish, doesn't it? Looks new to me. Yeah. Why in the road here? As you can tell, there's plenty of bikers. Um, so if you're riding on this trail, it's pretty nice. So this is a little more uh, foresty now that we turn left on that uh, fork in the road. Kind of more of an actual trail, even though it does look just wide enough for a vehicle. What do you think? Yeah, definitely like a little truck forest ranger type of or military vehicle could fit through here yeah that's what i was thinking obviously the military comes here because it says it's uh, patrolled by air force dogs or something yeah that's what it was i was reading on that sign we'll have a picture of the sign for you guys to read yourself all all people in there are subject to search Oh, nice bee following us. <laughs> I told you bugs like me. <laughs> it's a fuzz buzz. A fuzz buzz. It's out here on this trail, so if you're coming out here, yeah, be prepared to step to the side and let them go by. 
Um, I don't know, it's um, kind of getting, like, if you're looking at the road, the road is getting a little... Uh, unkept. Uh, yeah, a lot more unkept, <laughs> actually. Um, I don't know what else to say other than it is very pretty out here. I'm just kind of enjoying this section a lot more than I did the first section. these power lines. Uh, yeah, the power lines are a little annoying. Here, I'll show you what she's talking about there. You can probably see them in the trees up there. It kind of spoiled you. There's a power pole. And we keep finding odd things like this. There's a little like water or gas main here. Back there was a square like cinder block, thing, yeah. but like you could tell you could like move it and go down into it. Mm -hmm. It looked like it had like a slightly covered over manhole on it too. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Some, something underground here. Yeah. So, um, Probably to do with that military. Yeah, might have something to do with that military. Oh, that would be uh, a... Find a secret make, underground bunker? Yeah, it makes every, uh, you know, like, those weird sci-fi movies come to mind of... Uh, Test subjects in the ground? Yeah, what, what are they hiding down there? <laughs> so we're out here following the trail, and it uh, apparently ends at a... No, private gate. This way. Oh, there's a little side trail here. Okay. All right. You're the leader with the map. Oh, the leader. Uh, oh my God, we're all gonna die. <laughs> I hope not. I'm too young to die. <laughs> yeah. You still gotta be antsy for my next kid that we ain't even gonna have yet. Oh yeah. The little boy you want, right? No, I want another girl again. Well, what was the name you had for boy? I wanted a Patrick and a Trenton, but now we're getting a Theodore. A Theodore? Theodore, Thor, Michael, Horner. Okay. And then if we're going to have a girl, it's going to be Calliope. Calliope? Yeah. That's an interesting choice. Yeah, we're going with gods still. Persephone is the queen of the underworld and the goddess of spring. And Calliope is a muse. Okay. And then it'll go based off of Eric's middle name, Thor. Well, he has two middle names, Thor, Michael. So if we have a boy, our boy is going to get his two middle names. Okay. My first girl, Persephone, she got my middle name, Wanch, which was my grandmother's middle name. Well, I mean, yours too. Yeah. <laughs> Hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I sure do miss Anita. She's... Grandma was the best. She was the best, yeah. I learned a lot of my morals and values from her. Yeah. Now I'm just flashing back on memories of Grandma. <laughs> yeah, I liked her initials. A, B, C. Yes, Anita before she was car. married. <laughs> yes. And we got we we named our daughter PBH Peanut Butter and Honey. Honey, <laughs> oh that's sweet. <laughs> Unintended. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's really getting uh, narrow and thick over here. I don't know how narrow and thick it looks on. Well, at least it opens back up. It's getting really wet. Yeah, it's getting wet. Not deep, but definitely wet. <laughs> There's a lot of these little. Uh, pockets of water and then they've kind of seeped up into the ground that we're stepping on as you can see here at my feet and they're uh, it's making for uh, quite the interesting step <laughs> trying to find all the uh, wood and rocks that we can stand to step on rather than uh, leave a shoe behind <laughs> we come along this little cross here uh, Wonder what it was for, or who it's for. Yeah, I'm hoping it's not a bad story connected to it. Oh, there is no. Oh, it's just a thing to tell us about the uh, creek. <laughs> Y'all see it? 
It's neat that you film that board. Hello, this is the end of the trail. We went three miles. Um, the map will be on the screen, but yeah, you can't see that at all. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's um, half flat land, and then once you hit the turnaround spot, it gets pretty uh, woody. Yeah, woody. And a nice small trail. It's really nice. Goes from a very big wide gravel trail down to two lanes and then eventually down to just one, one lane, lane and then it's kind of a very narrow lane. <laughs> so. Yeah. But uh, I hope you join us on our next adventure. Yeah. See you then. Bye bye. On the way out here, we pulled over on the side of the road because we saw horses. So something to look for when you're driving out here. <laughs>